And welcome along then to Station Park for SWPL1 action. Glasgow City making their first of two trips in the league this campaign to four for Farmington, who have been maybe a little unlucky with the results, but do have that perhaps lucky win here against Motherwell. But they are uh, looking to try and get going after that three points earlier in the very beginnings of this campaign against Glasgow City, who have started like a train with goals. Well, looking at the sides, well, a player that had a few months at City last year, Hannah Stewart, is the top league scorer with two goals so far in the campaign for Glasgow City. Three changes from the last game. Erin Clackers comes in goal for Lee Alexander. Sam Kerr is out for six weeks, roughly. So she is involved out there. Claire Shine's first start since coming back to the club. Baron Cunningham also in for Leanne Crichton, who has a little knock, but she is on the bench. <laughs> Gerasoli's glance just over from Carla Gerasoli. Sure, we'll see that a bit throughout the season as she did last campaign. Water just nipping in there ahead of Bruce. And now space for Doherty. Loves pass. Oh, and that's a good header there, clear sign, but good dive from McNichol. Fought for caught out a little bit there with space on that side, rare with the space. That's a decent delivery in, but well held. Shine giving the shout, Joe Love is trying to pick her out here, she is on side. Davidson trying to get back, clear sign is Mothering Thaw, and McNichol. There with the save, an excellent shot stopper after last week's Rocks despite defeat. She's at it again with the saving. <laughs> Looked like it came off McClintock last, but they're giving it to City here. The throw. Tutis, but Ross and Lauder now on cross field. Doherty, Shine, and in it goes. And well, maybe profited for Tutis with the throw in that led to the goal. And a difficult first half, very few chances is the wayside who have the lead. For still protesting the initial throw given against them. That's what they played on, and they've scored from it. Ross, again here for clear shine. Lauder, Doherty with some space. In towards how again with Nichols there. There's Haley Lauder and McNichol with another fulsome body in the way. Keep things at one. It's one nil here in Forfar to the wayside. Doherty by Smith. Lauder. One or two cries for handball of Braff. Ross sits just over. Took a neck though. It's going to be a corner. Don't think it was a handball. In the first view. There was two or three protests, but Sutty carried on Ross with a, a decent try. Perhaps the deflection helped it from Forfar's point of view from going in. That's a flick through there, long ball from Ross and Claire shines in. This could be the chance and buried by Claire Shine. And there is the breathing space around 10 minutes into the second half. Claire Shine's 25th league goal for Glasgow City. And just swept through and she had a similar chance to the first half which was saved this time. She put it in the corner. 
Here on the snowway, Leanne Ross. So he's looking for a third. Shines glance, here's Clark. McClintock! Big fist pump, Jordan McClintock, that's a third, and maybe the goals are keeping in now. The spaces are going to come. City have got that cushion. Not played well for large parts, but haven't had too many chances. And Jordan McClintock was there in space to bury in the corner, and very quickly, number three. Nice ball there for McClintock. Ross. It's just holding up here. They're using the wind to their advantage now. City. Lauder shines. Flick. McClintock is blasting it over. That's a huge chance for our second of the game. But the chances are coming. <laughs> One or two heads and hands across the pitch in Orange or Black. That was a, a big miss for Jordan McClintock after scoring her first just a couple of minutes ago. More lofted, it's Noble again. Shine, it's deflected and in. Sure, Claire Shine will take that claim. Was on target. Ricochet or two. And in the 68th minute, it's now 4 0 to Glasgow City all of a sudden after being a very tricky 1 0 scoreline not so long ago. Love. It's going to bounce for Doherty and it's in here for Lauder, just behind Howitt. Comes for Shine, looking for a hat trick, but balloons it over. Clear Shine had second of two there, she could have taken the touch. I think that's a point Scott Booth's making over on the sidelines. Again, they've been put under pressure by McGlinchey and Love. Two combined, and now Love finds Lauda McClintock. Shines control, but it's over. She's sniffing that hat trick now, Claire Shine. Lauda's pinched that here. Problems for four for Shines. Shot to save. Joe Love to place it superbly. Class from Joe Love and it's high fives. Both did their best to try and stop it from going in the back and then nickel again, but out of position the keeper and just lofted in place with precision. Clintock here for Lauder. Lauder, space, so much space, Haley Lauder, oh my goodness me, <laughs> this hat trick isn't coming this afternoon for Claire Shine, head in the hands of the Irish striker. Maybe another short routine between these two, or will it be complete decoy, no it is short, Lauder, Shines there, it's a good save off the legs. An absolute scramble which is over the line. And not the prettiest, but Claire Shines got there in the end. The hat trick and goal number 40 in Glasgow City Colours for Claire Shine. Of course, across our first spell and the return spell. And it's not a bad start. Two games in and bagging goals again. And Glasgow City Colours clear shine. To say not pretty, but in it goes. And it's six goals here. <laughs> Quickly from Lauder here, Ross. And Gerasoli gets in the act. And quite extraordinarily, it's seven goals now here for Glasgow City. Gerasoli's first of the season. And a trademark goes in then to finish. And that will. Perhaps finish off the scoring this afternoon in a blustery cold Station Park. And it was pretty much the final act of the game, which was certainly a game of uh, two halves, to use the cliche, in a difficult 
match weather wise City really could, could not get any passing going the way team Fulver played well in that first half to contain they did get a goal did City through Kirsty Howitt but it wasn't until the door was unlocked in the second half of the goals just flew in really clear shine getting three goals Kipling perhaps scrappy but she got on the board John McClintock was in the mix Joe Love too and Carla Gerasoli with a goal right at the end that finishes here Far for Farmington nil, Glasgow City seven.